Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jess and thank you so much for watching this video. I want to thank everyone who's been watching my videos and leaving such positive, supportive comments and questions. I really, really appreciate it and I really enjoy connecting and talking with everyone in the comments, so thank you. I also encourage you to leave your questions and comments and share your experiences, share your thoughts and your ideas of what you know about the topics. And by sharing, we're all gathering more information and that can be really useful for someone else out there who might relate to what you have to say. And sometimes the guides want to expand further on some of the questions and comments that you bring forward. So I'm thinking of doing more like Q&A type style videos very soon uh, if I have some time. So again, thank you so much for all of your contribution, your positive contribution. Thank you. So the guides wanted me to put this video out to talk about a new timeline in terms of the upcoming event. So the event is a high light energy upgrade event that many people are anticipating is going to happen soon. Uh, and when it happens, it will efficiently allow the timelines, because there are many timelines at this point in time, to begin moving towards and together into a new 5D Earth timeline. So this involves the merging of all the timelines into ultimately one final 5D New Earth timeline, according to the guides. And of course, this is going to take a little bit of time, but the upcoming event, from what was told to me, is what will be the catalyst for us to move into the direction of the 5D New Earth timeline. And if you want more information regarding the timelines merging into that final one 5D Earth timeline, please first watch my video titled Definite 5D Earth Split Future Timeline Merge slash Dimensional Timeline Split, and I'll put the link to that video below. By watching that, you might get a better idea of what I'm talking about in terms of timeline merging. And my usual disclaimer, please use your own discernment and remember that any timelines or any predictions and information can change. So keep an open mind as we move forward with any of the messages in this video or any other video. Take it with a grain of salt and do your own research to bring forward information that resonates with you. And also note that information in this video is channeled information from the higher vibrational guides. So basically, the information that came was that the timeline for the event has changed from what the guides are seeing on their end. And if you've been watching any of my other videos, you would know that up until this weekend, the guides have been telling me that the upcoming event would be taking place in the fall, around October. And they said this because when they viewed it or sensed it, they saw the leaves were colorful and falling, like fall time. But keep in mind, again, that timelines can change and things that come through, especially timelines, as well as any other information, can definitely change or be interpreted wrong. Um, they've told me that pinpointing timeline or dates in linear time from their perspective is really not the easiest thing to do. and. It's because from what they said, they don't necessarily see, they describe it as like sensing energy. And at this point, I don't really take any timelines seriously because I know that there's like this weird misinterpretation from what they're sensing and from what is actually happening in reality. So um, I just kind of take it with a grain of salt. I put out whatever information comes to me um, regarding timelines, but I always make the disclaimer that timelines, you know, it's possible and most likely to change, um, especially if we're still existing with all these multiple timelines. And the same thing happens with events. So they've told me that they can sense if it's if there's different timelines, they can sense like maybe a, a big disaster or some sort of event on, on like a higher timeline. But it's possible that 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 event doesn't even happen just because it's on a higher timeline doesn't mean that it's going to happen. So things are always changing. And that's why, I've, you know, I allow the information to come, but take anything with a grain of salt unless it comes maybe multiple times or unless maybe I'm aligned to 
finding other people who also align with the same type of information. So yeah, keep that in mind. Moving on, again, what they described is that there's a new timeline for the event at this point in time, but I was also told not to reveal the new timeline. Um, the reason for this, A, because timelines change from everything that I just went over, but also because they don't want the timeline for the event to be hijacked by lower 3D energies, which has, according to them, happened in the past. And they referenced March 2018. So I'm sensing a connection between the event that many people were anticipating would happen back in March, and it never did, or at least not to many people's awareness did it happen. So maybe something did happen, but energetically, who knows? But I'm kind of sensing that there may have been some sort of energy interference in regards to the date of March 2018 and the anticipation of the event timeline. According to the guides, the energy coming during the upcoming event will begin the removing of the masks and illusions on the planet, especially central to the beliefs regarding finance, government, and healthcare on the planet. And they've said that not all the masks are going to be unveiled, but it's a huge stepping stone in unveiling illusion on the planet. So I asked them if they could give me kind of like a general statement about the upcoming energy. And they said, yes, energy event in October has changed. Event has a new timeline that cannot be revealed yet. All we can say is that it is on the current calendar year. Knowledge from source. Efficiently heifer news, meaning efficiently big news. Knowledge about change in timeline comes at a strict accordance for defining moment in time and history of Earth has come. No defining people on Earth, illusion and efficient knowledge remains a secret because event has been hijacked before, meaning we need to understand that obtaining the knowledge about the event remains a secret because the event timeline has been hijacked before. They go on to say, event on Earth for Central Sun will be on a bonding adventure with Source. Efficiently, oneness will be restored and illusion gone. So referring to the part that says, event on Earth for Central Sun will be on a bonding adventure with Source. First, I had them define Central Sun versus Source. So Source is God, Creator, whatever you want to refer to as God or Source. And Central Sun is knowledge about everything. This is like the central knowledge that holds everything in the entire universe. And this statement, event on Earth for Central Sun will be on a bonding adventure with Source, is a playful way of them saying something that they've told me in a prior transmission regarding the event. I was told that the Central Sun will not illuminate for a day during the event. So this is kind of them basically saying it because they're saying Central Sun will be on a bonding adventure with Source in a playful way. Um, so... Oh, on a side note, I do want to make this clear going forward, and I'm sorry for the tangent, but um, when it comes to referring to God, creator energy, source, or whatever you want to reference as God, I'm going to go forward referencing it as source or source creator or source energy. And I know it gets a little confusing with words to define God or source or creator or whatever. But for me, I, I kind of identify more with the, the name source to describe this God type energy, which is everything. And you can refer or interpret as you, as you want in terms of your own belief when it comes to this supreme God, source, creator, etc. But just FYI, I'm going to be moving forward, um, referencing it as source or source energy, source creator. Okay, so coming back, um, I asked the guides to clarify this whole central sun um, not illuminating and going on this bonding adventure with source. And so I asked them, you know, you said that the central sun energy will not illuminate for a day. 
in a previous transmission. Can you explain this in regards to the event? And they said, Central Sun will not give light. Definitely one day, effectively, because illusion cannot be revealed definitely, absolutely, if Central Sun illuminated. So basically what they're saying is that the Central Sun will not illuminate during the event because if the Central Sun is illuminated like usual, then illusions cannot be revealed. And I don't quite grasp or understand this connection, but I understand what they're saying. So somehow the Central Sun illuminating keeps the illusion on Earth in some way. So by the central sun closing or not being illuminated for at least a day, it allows some of that illusion to come forward and be exposed, or at least sort of opens that door in people's minds to be able to perceive illusion. So also I asked the guides to clarify what they mean by illusion in this transmission in regards to the event and exposing illusions. And they said, illusion of beliefs in government, finance, and healthcare. So keep that in mind as we move forward. Going on, regarding the central sun, I asked, is the central sun you're talking about the sun in the sky? Sometimes I kind of just like reword questions to see if I'll get different answers or the same answer or um, to, to have them explain more about it. And so I asked, is the central sun you're talking about the sun in the sky? And they said, no, central sun stores knowledge. Central sun heavy, very heavy with knowledge about the galaxy. Oneness frequency illuminates from central sun. So the central sun is not the sun that we see in the sky. The guides refer to the sun in the sky as the yellow sun. So my next question, in order to get them to clarify more, I asked, is the central sun source creator? And what came through was yes, but different. Central sun knowledge about everything, glows with source energy, illuminates source energy, heifer in source energy, illusion of source in humans efficiently, definitely gone for one day. So they kind of threw that in there at the end, referring to what we talked about a little earlier about how central sun is going to be uh, not illuminating for a day and so they're saying basically what happens is that the illusion of source in humans efficiently definitely gone for one day and by saying illusion of source in humans they mean that the belief or ideas that we have about a god or a source or a creator or whatever is going to be gone for that time being and i'm thinking that you know, all the illusions and beliefs that we have in religion will be kind of turned upside down for that time that um, sun the central sun is not illuminated. Or at least it will kind of spark some things in people's minds or open their minds a little bit or put seeds into their minds that there's more than just what we're kind of bound to in our beliefs about God or source or creator when it comes to religion especially. And by opening up our minds just a little bit when it comes to our beliefs about God or source, it allows our ability to kind of grasp the idea of, of more true oneness frequency and allow that information and that sort of belief system to kind of shine through a little bit more. Okay, so the guides wanted me to be very clear in regards to the definition of God or source and the central sun. What they said is that source or God is knowledge about everything. It is everything. And the central sun holds this knowledge about everything. God or source is everything. And the central sun holds everything. So just to be clear, because they want me to be clear about this, God is everything, or source is everything, and the central sun holds this knowledge about everything, if that makes sense. I went on to ask them, how long does the event last? They said, efficiently one day, but effects last no more than five days. I asked, so why does the central sun not illuminate? And what came through was segue filament for ascension. Heaven on earth for one day. 
Illusion of corruption cannot Guilford Island definitely if central sun illuminated, too strong energetically, affects human mind. So if you watched my other video, August Energy Wave, Soul Family Connections, um, I defined Guilford Island. It's this metaphor that the guides like to use often to describe New Earth 5D reality or anything regarding, you know, flying high in absolute bliss and oneness frequency. It is the illusion of oneness gone and the reality of oneness integrated. And it's, it's this knowing that all is truly well. I asked them, when you say illusion of corruption, what do you mean? And what came through was the belief in central government, in finance, and in healthcare. Central government corruption exposed. High frequency energy helps uncover central healthcare related energetic events and financial, absolutely financial, central financial institution, ace illusion certainly coming. High frequency light uncovers financial central injustice. I feel like that's a lot to interpret, but when you just kind of read over it, you just kind of get that knowledge bubble of, okay, I know exactly what they're talking about, if that makes sense. I then asked, is all that going to be exposed during the event or the five days affected? And what came through was no, will be many long months after energy event. So that kind of goes back to being affected in the way that it's just like planting these seeds in our minds or opening our minds a little bit in regards to our beliefs about religion or the government or finance and healthcare. So it just kind of opens up and turns the dial a little bit for us to see through these very 3D beliefs and ideas that we already have about all these different institutions and opens ourselves up to more of a 4D or a 5D understanding of the earth or these these types of institutions and what we'll begin to see according to the guides after many after a few months we'll begin to see like that seeding taking place and flowering into you know whatever comes next in terms of exposing these illusions so again they're saying that if the central sun is illuminated like usual then the illusion of corruption on earth cannot be exposed the exposure of illusions and corruption has to happen if we want to move fully into 5D New Earth reality. And this is playfully referred to as Guilford Island by the guides. <laughs> and they also had said that the central sun, when illuminated, is too energetically strong and affects human minds in keeping up that illusion. So that's why it has to go away or be... Or, or not be illuminated. And in terms of corruption, I didn't get any details regarding any of the corruption of the institutions, just these general statements of where the corruption will be illuminated over the upcoming months, or maybe even years. So we'll see if they expand upon it, or we'll see if, you know, it unfolds in front of our eyes. I then asked them, will we perceive the central sun as closed? Like, will we know that it's closed or not illuminating? And they said, no, energetic feeling. So I'm assuming we're, it's only going to be an energetic thing or energetic feeling or perception. Some, most of us probably won't even notice anything. So again, the central sun is not the sun we see in our sky. The central sun is the center of knowledge. It's part of source energy. So we won't notice it except energetically. And I think the guides just want us to be aware that the exposure of illusion has to do with the central sun not illuminating. There's, there's a connection there. I went on to ask them, can you tell me more about the event? And what came through was that Source has sent an energetic wave of high frequency ACE energy to planet Earth, defining an illusion or belief of Guilford Island New Earth reality. Humanity's energetic makeup on high elemental change. Many will gel 5D Earth reality finally. 4D in effect now. Many can gel 4D on energy event. 
People efficiently open knowing of 4D in minds, allowing them to sense 5D. Fellow members of the Guilford Island Soul Family Group begin to move from illusion of oneness into integration of reality of oneness. You can refer to one of my previous videos titled August Energy Wave and Soul Family Group to hear about the Guilford Island Soul Family Group. Um, again, this is the energy aligned to the energy of the high vibrational guides that are channeled. Um, and what they're saying is like, people in the soul family group will begin to move from just kind of believing in this oneness into actually integrating the oneness and having it become a reality, stepping into 5D or gelling 4D or wherever you are, you're going to like get a step up wherever you are. And also looking at this statement, they're saying that Source has sent an energetic wave of high frequency energy to planet Earth, which will bring the illusion or belief of new Earth energy, because there's a lot of people on the planet that it needs to reach. It needs to start opening people's minds to new Earth, to 5D, bringing that awareness across the planet. And there's so many people who are asleep, who aren't even aware of the ideas of new Earth or 5D. So I think the event is going to be that pivotal point in which it really starts to plant the seeds. Again, that idea of planting seeds in the minds of people in order to have that seed begin to sprout and grow. But that seed is is the seed, the belief of 5D Earth and, and the new Earth. And they continue to say that our energetic makeup will go through and is going through a high elemental change. Many will gel 5D Earth reality, and many existing in 3D Earth reality will begin to open up or gel 4D reality. The guides went on to explain 3D, 4D, and 5D. So 3D basically is very elemental. It's very um, earthly in terms of your perception. Um, it is the belief in these institutions that are presented to you in terms of religion, um, government, finance, those types of things. Uh, 4D was described as like a portal between 3D and 5D, so it is kind of um, being open to the knowledge of 5D, being open to the knowledge of the new earth, kind of integrating the higher frequency energy, going out searching for information regarding the new earth, and then 5D is fully living in this joyful new awareness. It's a higher consciousness. It's a higher perspective per se. It's And what they want to make clear is that this is about perception. It's about consciousness. And these are the three levels of consciousness. And I'm going to put out a video that better describes what they said word for word in terms of 3D, 4D, and 5D. The guides then go on to say, Source portal, referring to the event, they're referring to the event as like this portal of energy from Source, has an open timeline. Unable to disclose because cannot allow lower energy to hijack timeline like they have done before efficiently. Elements of lower energy have definitely hijacked timelines on Earth before. They continue to say, Jin Rummy on 5D Earth. Not joking. Jin Rummy on 5D Earth. Another metaphor that they like to use often is Jin Rummy. And I initially thought that meant to go all in. I don't really remember how to play Jin Rummy or what the rules of the game is. But what kind of came through in terms of Jin Rummy and my instant knowing of what they're talking about is like it meaning to go all in or um, something along those lines, but they have described it as integration. They go on to say, 3D lower energy is an effective illusion, not real. 3D lower energy is a figment of human mind. Light event on earth for all to see. Get ready. The last sentence, they say, light event on earth for all to see. Get ready. Um, I asked them, what do you mean by this light event? I wanted to see if they would describe the event the same way as what has been described to me before, or if something may have changed because the whole timeline changed. So maybe it was, so maybe I thought this is going to be different or what, but I wanted to see what came through. 
And what came through was that illusion of event will be light energy from central sun. Light, central sun, and illusion or beliefs of people effectively create light effects in sky. Heifer or huge days of light and heifer huge days of high frequency energy in air. Energetic light effectively magnifies people's abilities, potential, and connection to source. Illusion or beliefs in certain realities such as central government opens efficient knowledge, ends up absolutely, definitely, certainly coming to the surface. No darkness can hide from the light. Jin Rami on 5D Earth. I like the way they describe how light, central sun, and the illusion or beliefs that we have as physical beings on a 3D Earth is the recipe for effectively creating these light effects in the sky. I've had people in QHHT client sessions describe this upcoming event as looking like the northern lights in the sky. Others say that it's like a colorful mist or fog, and the guides do seem to agree with both, but also keep in mind that not everyone is going to perceive the event the same way. So yeah, everything else they said seems to align with everything that's come through before and what has come through in client sessions. I like that they're saying this exposure of illusion in terms of central government, also healthcare, finance, um, those types of things that we went over. They're saying it ends up absolutely, definitely, certainly coming to the surface. So it's like they're being very blunt with saying, you know, this is happening. No darkness can hide from the light. Like it's time for all of this dark illusion to come to the surface. And just, you know, I like to make sure they clarify things. I like to make sure that we're on the same page in, in regards to the wording that comes through and my interpretation of it. So I ask them, because they keep saying Jin Rami on 5D Earth, Jin Rami on 5D Earth, I ask them, does this mean that we will be completely on 5D Earth reality following this light event or what? And what came through was no, just one step in the direction of 5D Earth reigning. Only certain people who have efficiently raised their consciousness and frequency efficiently on cattle train on New Earth. Meaning, this is their playful way of saying that only people on Earth who have been working to raise their consciousness and frequency will be on that wagon to fully integrating 5D Earth. Because remember, 5D Earth is here. It's coexisting with 3D and 4D Earth. So there are already people completely existing in 5D Earth because they have raised their consciousness. They have done the work to raise their frequency and energy and maintain that 5D New Earth energy, which is a oneness frequency. What we're doing now is we're working towards this complete split from 3D into 5D. And it'll happen eventually in the near future, but it's going to take some time. And you may think that there are some people who are seemingly ahead of others, but don't worry about it because we're all on our own journey and we're all exactly where we need to be. And technically, nobody really is ahead and nobody is behind. It's just the words that we have in the English language to describe it, to describe this process. We're all playing our parts perfectly and we're all on our own journeys that work for us. And the guides have said that nobody's going to be left behind unless they desire to stay on a 3D level but this desire has to come from the soul. It's a soul level desire. And that's okay too, because not everyone is meant to go into 5D. And that's totally fine because that's what the individual has chosen on a soul level. The guides continue to say, effectively opening illusion of new earth allows new earth to come much more quickly, firmly and lofty, absolutely, really efficiently for you. So, what they're saying is that it's up to you. Opening your ability to see and perceive new earth energy and 
illusion is what will help you get into that space more quickly and it'll help you to solidify 5d earth for you on your own path so that means you know being open to the messages that people are saying about new earth instead of dismissing them being open to your own intuition and using your discernment being open to your inner knowledge and your inner knowing of what you believe to be true being open to focusing your energy and awareness on 5D elements and ideas and higher frequency energy and raising your consciousness rather than focusing on lower dense energy and 3D elements such as you know the news and politics and corruption and hate and negativity and of course all of these 3D elements are going to be in our awareness because we're existing with 3D and 5D together. So there's going to be hate, there's going to be negativity that we're exposed to or that we're aware of in the world, but where is our own personal perception? Where is our awareness? Where is our frequency in regards to reacting to what we're seeing so it's like if you see a negative situation are you going to be pulled into that negative situation are you going to be pulled down or are you going to rise above it see it from this bigger angle and be able to hold the space of oneness be able to see it for what it is and the role that it's playing and hold that more oneness frequency that love frequency in order to help transmute or transform that lower frequency or negative situation. Okay, I kind of went on a little rant there. (laughs) That was definitely the guides coming through. Um, Okay, so I went on to ask, what can we expect from this light event? Will everyone see it? And they said, no, not everyone is going to be able to see it because light frequency illusion on Earth Definitely before human eyes, but not all can see it. Illusion depends on Guilford Island of person. And they go on to explain this. So, illusion depends on heifer elements of open-mindedness and source awareness. And finally, efficiently on energetic frequency of person. So, this also aligns with what has come through before. I have most clients in QHHT or BQH sessions saying that everyone is going to sense or see the event energy differently and that it all depends on where you are energetically in terms of being able to perceive it. So many have described it as looking like colorful lights, like the northern lights, a fog of colorful light or a mist of colorful light. It all depends on where you are energetically and what you're open to receiving. So some people might not even see anything or perceive or feel anything. And according to the guides, it really depends on your open-mindedness, source awareness, or the oneness frequency, and your individual energetic vibration or frequency. They've also talked about how many of this soul family group will be part of the new shift in many of these institutions. Um, All these institutions that the corruption are going to be exposed, such as financial, um, government, healthcare. Once the corruption is exposed, all of these institutions have to be rebuilt. And they're going to be rebuilt in a very different way, in a way that is of more 5D Earth frequency, this higher frequency energy of the new Earth. And the guides have said, especially in healthcare, so healers will be one very central aspect to the soul family group, but I know that there's a lot of other aspects too that many, many people are going to be aligning to in terms of the new institutions taking place on 5D Earth. And I do think that the guides want to talk a little bit more about roles in terms of the soul family group in New Earth um, because there's going to be a lot of people establishing new things like healing centers and stuff like that. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes. Um, The event is going to bring the unveiling of some aspects of 3D masks and illusions. And so, you know, we should keep an eye out for that in the days, weeks, months, years following the event. Again, not all illusion is surfacing but this is really a big step in that direction and and in opening the minds of people to seeing 
new earth energy and being open to receiving that energy so that they can start moving from 3D into 4D into 5D. And finally, I asked, is this event aligned with any astrological events or cosmic alignments or anything? And they said, no, illusion only in minds of people of earth. No cosmic alignment can interfere with glory of source. Do not worry about astrology or cosmic alignment. Definitely does not matter. Guilford Island is coming now. So that's what I have in terms of this new timeline, this timeline change in regards to the event. Uh, just be completely open to whatever and whenever it comes. If you want more information about the event, um, but not about the new timeline, check out my video Ascension Update 5D Pull Shift and Event Info. In that video, I will be talking about the old timeline that the guides originally told me, but keep in mind that that timeline has changed and that's what I'm talking about in this video. And lastly, the guides want to remind you that the messages in the video are not as important as the frequency of the messages that come through when you hear or read them. So it's like if you don't understand everything that I'm talking about because I know that it's confusing and overwhelming, it's a lot of information, just know that by listening it helps you to activate memory on a cellular level is what the guide said. It triggers knowledge awareness within you so that you can resonate with and be able to access deeper knowledge that you already hold within you. So again, don't worry about if you understand the messages or not. You're integrating and activating energy on a much deeper level. We're all in this together. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.